will be the lifter with the best snatch lift combined with his best clean and jerk lift. And this is Manfred Nerlinger from West Germany. We're in the middle of the snatch portion of the competition. Let's take a look, though, at the second lift by Nerlinger. 407 and three quarter pounds. He almost had it up, but missed on that attempt. This is his final attempt in the snatch part of the competition. If he's going to be a factor in this competition, he has to make this lift. He'll definitely need to make it to stay in the contention here because the next two lifters have a uh, tremendous snatches. So he's got to really put this one away easily. Okay, he was third in the world championships last year in Sweden. <laughs> nice lift. And Nerlinger has it overhead. 407 and three quarter pounds, and that moves him for the moment into first place. Notice the pull. He really hits it high on the thighs. He almost misses the thigh brush, but he puts it in the slot easily, recovers. It's an excellent lift. So Nerlinger, very excited about that, and the West German recovered from missing that second one. Now, Robert Skolomowski from Poland, chalking up and getting ready to come out and lift, or to attempt to lift, let's say, 413 and a quarter pounds. You know, one time he was touted by the Polish as being the next super heavyweight world champion, but he just never seemed to make the cut. Now 30 years of age and backstage getting ready to lift. The next lifter will be Krastev after Skolomowski. Kolomowski weighed in at 339 pounds. He's ranked number nine in the world in weightlifting in the super heavyweight class. Long time over the bar. Good pull. He's got it well over his head. Great quickness. 339 pounds. And Bruce, a lot of technique there. It is. He's a good technician. He pulls the weight well. He brushes his thighs high. Moves under the weight. Has good flexibility for such a big man. Okay, the auditorium is sold out. And the reason, the next lifter, Antonio Krastev, coming up. He'll be attempting 440 and three-quarter pounds in his very first lift. This, of course, would move him into first place. Three attempts, remember, the best attempt to count in the snatch. You know, one of the things we want to watch for on Krastev is how fast he moves and also this additional gain in body weight. We'll see if he can pull the bar bass past his stomach because in the past he kind of drags it up. Okay, he weighed in at 354 and a half pounds. He's ranked number one in the world, the defending super heavyweight world champion. Lucy's put on a lot of weight. He sure has. It's going to be interesting to see if it helps him. As I said before, the weight can either help or hinder. Uh, some use it, it's used like like for additional leverage actually and he takes a, a long time in the snatch and he has to swing it around the belly tremendous concentration he stays in this low position for a long time oh. nice pull and easily overhead for Krastev in his first lift 440 and three quarter pounds and Bruce you talk about body weight making you stronger, but it looks like fat to me. How can fat make you stronger? Well, what appears to you to be fat in this 25-pound gain on this man in one year, he might have picked up five pounds of fat, which is more obvious to the eye than the 20 pounds of underlying muscle. Believe me, fat doesn't lift heavy weights like this. Okay, Bruce, Krastev is off to a great start with his first lift, but the Soviet lifter, Taranenko, is yet to come. You all, Leonid Taranenko from the Soviet Union, weighed in at 304 and a half pounds, and Bruce... This is his third attempt in the snatch, and he is in trouble. Let's take a look at that first lift. 440 and three-quarter pounds on a bar. He moved under a little bit slow. He cut his pull. His flexibility looks bad in the bottom position. He drops the weight. Let's take a look and see how he does in the second attempt. Nicely over the bar. Shoulders there. Swings it, but he misses the brush. Swings the weight out front. The weight drops in front. He didn't settle in the bottom position. Okay, Bruce. He has dug quite a hole for himself. This is his third and final attempt coming up now. Again, 440 and three quarter pounds. If he misses this, he's out of the competition. And Krastev has already lifted 440 and three quarter pounds. And he has two more lifts. Oh, he has it overhead. A little bit of struggle coming out of the bottom. He's not really sharp here. You can see that today. And Taranenko meets the pressure and lifts 440 and three quarter pounds. Shoulders over the bar. He pulls the weight well off the ground, moves forward, bangs it off his hips, swings it out front. However, he catches it behind his ears in the proper slot, but he has a little bit of difficulty standing up. The weight is a little bit out front. Not a partic particularly technically good lift. Okay, Taranenko, now with 440 and three-quarter pounds, 
Kustev has already lifted the same weight, but he has two more lifts to go. And Bruce, it seems unbelievable because Kustev, we're looking at him here, is having weight put on the bar, 468 and a quarter pounds for a new world record, the old record, 465 pounds, set by Gunyashev of the Soviet Union. And we'll see that record attempt when we come back. 354 and a half pounds is now going to attempt a world record. 468 and a quarter pounds. Who's the old record? 465 pounds. You know, sometimes I think we're a little bit cavalier, Bob, in the way we talk about 468 pounds. That's a tremendous amount of weight. It's like a couple of washing machines. This man's going to pull it from the floor over his head in one motion. wonder what he's going to take on his third. Good pull off the four shoulders over the board to adjust. Catches it in the bottom. Just very flexible on his shoulders as he moves well under it. A beautifully done lift. And Bruce Krastev of Bulgaria looks like he's the new super heavyweight star. Reminds me a little bit of Vasily Alexiev of the Soviet Union. Well, there's no question about it. He's an immense man, 354 pounds, very much similar to Alexiev's size. And right now, they're putting more weight on the bar. Krastev still has one more. Steroids. Ooh, those are strong words, Bruce. Okay, Krastev of Bulgaria coming up now. Another world record for him. He's already lifted 468 and a quarter pounds. And now, to better that world record, 473 and three quarter pounds. And this, his third and final attempt in the snatch lift. Well, you notice he had to kind of bring the crowd down a little bit because this is a partisan crowd. Okay, over the bar now. <laughs> Strong pull, he waits over his head. It's a beautiful lift. And another world record from Krestev of Bulgaria. And the crowd here is really cheering him on, Bruce. Oh, it's incredible the way the Bulgarians have drawn strength from the crowd. It's really done a job for him here. And what's even more amazing is he's only 25 years old. He has many more years of weightlifting in him. Shoulders over the bar, good position. Swings the bar into that big belly, throws it up, moves it around. But notice how the shoulder flexibility enables him to save the weight. Stands up easily. This is a tremendous weight with 473 and three-quarter pounds. Overhead with absolutely no difficulty. And Krastev, who we've been watching lift since he was 18 years old, just gets better and better and better. And is he happy with those two new world records? Okay, Bruce, that's it for the snatch lift. The results, Krastev, of course, the winner. Taranenko of the Soviet Union second and Skolomowski of Poland third. We'll be back with the second phase of the competition, the clean and jerk, a little later. World records thus far in the competition. Including two by this man right here, Bob. Okay, this is Antonio Krastev of Bulgaria. He set those two records, Bruce, in the snatch, which was completed earlier. Now we're in the clean and jerk. It's a two-part lift. He's going to be attempting 529 pounds, and this is only his first attempt, and he'll have three attempts. It actually is quite an incredible first attempt because he's not noted as a great clean and jerker such as Taran Inkle is. Uh, his best in the clean and jerk is 551 and a half pounds, so it is a high opener for him. Okay, there is Taranenko from the Soviet Union, his main opponent here, warming up in the back room. And Taranenko has yet to take his first lift. He finished second in the snatch lift. And, of course, the main difference between the snatch and the clean and jerk is that the weight is pulled from the floor to the chest in one smooth movement, squatting or splitting, and then the weight is then shoved over the head, jerked over the head, actually, with the lifter splitting his legs fore and aft and waiting for the recovery down signal. Here we see the clean, a nice clean, 529 pounds, easily done. Okay, only now to get it overhead. Off of the jerk, just and a little snap, right there. Krestel of Bulgaria takes over the lead in the clean and jerk with a lift of 529 pounds. It's an effortless opener. Bruce, he's better in the snatch, though. So he, he might is. have struggled here, but he didn't look like he was right. having any trouble. There was no problem at all with that 529. I was really amazed with the shallow dip he took in the jerk portion of the lift.
Here we can see his enormous body. Watch how he uses his stomach as a little bit of a spring down here in the bottom position. Pushes against his thighs. He's able to rebound out of that bottom position. He readjusts the weight. That's what he's doing. You see him throw his arms back. Now he has a nice platform from which to jerk the weight. A slight dip of the knees and he snaps the weight. He uses the recoil of the bar. It's a beautiful done jerk. Okay, Krastev is certainly putting some pressure on everybody else, including this man, Manfred Nerlinger of West Germany. He's already had one lift. This is his second attempt, 529 pounds. He's made 512 and a half. And Bruce, he just got out of the Army, so he hasn't had a chance to train very much. Well, it certainly hasn't affected his body weight. He's up to 309 pounds this year, and that's up from over 290 last year, so he's made some progress there. Okay, he was third in the World Championships last year in Sweden. Very good in the clean and jerk. Weights well racked with how rebounds out of the clean. And Nerlinger has it overhead. All he has to do is settle down and wait for the sign from the three judges that it's a good lift, which it is. And Manfred Nerlinger has taken the lead for the moment only because he weighs less. Body weight is less than Krastev. And back in the warm-up room, Taranenko of the Soviet Union last year, he injured the hamstring of his left leg and had it operated on. He'll be coming up next. 540 pounds. He's already made 529 pounds. His main problem in the past has been racking the weight where he actually shoulders the weight because his arms are so big. Bruce, he's quite an unusual guy, too. Very happy, very gentle man. Plays the piano when he's not lifting weights. got some great facial expressions. Well wrapped. Look how it's on his fingertips, though. Well, he readjusts, gets his hands on the bars. Boy, that was amazing. Kind of had it bouncing right on the... Nice jerk, nice jerk. Crestel, 540 pounds. And Crestel takes the lead. Nerlinger with 529 pounds. And the Bulgarian crowd has a lot to cheer about. And it seems as though Krastev is really feeding off their cheering. He is just lifting better and better. One group who hasn't been cheering very much are the Americans. Bruce, it seems as though the U.S. is kind of falling behind the rest of the world rather than catching up. But coming out now, Leonid Taranenko from the Soviet Union. His second attempt at 540 pounds. He missed his first attempt. Well, the way he missed his first attempt, he should have no trouble making it on his second here. And Taranenko was the 1980 Olympic heavyweight champion. Then he put on 60 pounds, and now he's lifting as a super heavyweight, as his coach, David Rigott, looks on. Bruce, he's been struggling. Well, he's had some problems here today, that's for sure. He's got the weight well racked. He's got a little injury here, it looks like. He sat down with a weight hand on the knee. He, he could have pulled a muscle. You know, Bruce, when you think 540 pounds, I'm surprised there aren't more injuries to those legs. Well, it's, it's really true. It's amazing there aren't more injuries, but the athletes are well conditioned. This man can squat over 800 pounds. But the trauma and the stress of the heavy training does take its toll. This is very similar to last year where he got injured, too. Okay, let's see if we can pick up where he did have the injury. Shoulders over the bar. Good pull. He catches it right here. Right here in his bottom position, we see his right knee turn in. And he sits down. Evidently, he's got a muscle pull. Yeah, it didn't look like he really twisted it all. Well, he sure looks injured here. And if he doesn't come back and take it on his third attempt to make it, he'll definitely be out of the competition. And Bruce, if that's the case, what a break for Nerlinger here. This would mean that he and Krastev will be battling it out for the clean and jerk title. For his third and final attempt in the clean and jerk, Manfred Nerlinger from West Germany. He'll be attempting 540 pounds, and if he makes this, he will have lifted the same weight as Krastev. But because he weighs less, then he would take the lead in the clean and jerk. Third attempt, Krastev has one more. And back in that little cubicle, Taranenko of the Soviet Union. Bruce, we don't know if he's going to be able to continue. Okay, Nerlinger. Should have no trouble with his weight. He's an explosive lifter, a good technician. Hits his positions excellently. Well, he keeps getting better and better. He's only 26. Got the weight rack. Struggles for the sticking point. Erlinger can take the lead if he can get it overhead. He's got it overhead. All he's got to do now is settle down. performance has improved. <laughs> and he weighed in at 309 pounds today. Oh, he is pretty happy, isn't he? He certainly is, and he's got a lot of reason to be. Most people feel that this sport belongs to the Bulgarians and the Soviet Union, but Nerlinger from West Germany. He did a tremendous job in the clean. 
Let's take a look at the jerk portion. This is where he could have lost it. He didn't. He had a wide, deep split. His legs were split a little bit too wide, but he fought it. Well fought, held it for control. Waits for the down signal. No problem with the weight. A great competitor. Okay. <laughs> One more look. Flip here. <laughs> <laughs> a little hole in the carpet after that. Okay, and now coming out. Stop. Stop. Antonio Krastev. Stop. This will be his third lift, and they've signaled to him to stop, Bruce. That's right. They're having to wait for Taron Inkle. Taron Inkle still has the option to put his name in for the same weight. Of course, this is, just looks like it's a delaying tactic on the Russians' part. Let's see what's happening and back Krastev there. And didn't feel that Taron Inkle was going to lift again. Looks like Taron Inkle was in a lot of pain. I can't imagine him coming out, but the Russians are known to do some funny things. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to Oh, there's the signal from one of the trainers. It doesn't look like he's going to lift. And it'll be Krastev coming out now. He'll be attempting 556 and a half pounds. And you know, Bruce, back in 1970 in Columbus, Ohio, we saw Vasily Alexiev of the Soviet Union become the first man to lift over 500 pounds. And now here we are, 556 and a half pounds. Unbelievable, the progress. And Bruce, with Taranenko out of the competition, the situation has really changed here. This man, Nerlinger, has a chance to win the clean and jerk and move up into second in the total. Krastev, lifting 556 and a half pounds, can win the clean and jerk. He's already clinched the total if he can make this lift. And if he does make this 556 and a half, Bob, it'll give him 1,030 total, the highest total oh. ever lifted by man. A nice clean. Oh, oh, Bruce, slipped right off his hand. That's one of his major problems. His arms are so big, it's very difficult. He racks the weight on his fingertips, but he gave it a good shot. Well, he doesn't seem too unhappy. He's our overall winner. He totaled more than anybody else, but... For Manfred Nerlinger right here, he keeps getting better and better, and he's won the clean and jerk, and he deserved it. He really did lift well. And two world records for Krastev, also winner of the total, as we've already mentioned. And the final results in the clean and jerk, Nerlinger and Krastev both lifted the same weight, but because Nerlinger weighs less, he is our winner. And in the total, the overall winner, the best snatch lift combined with the best clean and jerk, Krastev is the winner, and Nerlinger is second. And so, for Bruce Wilhelm, this is Bob Biatti from the World Weightlifting Championships from Sofia, Bulgaria. Good